and welcome to Access Sports Net Lakers. I'm your host, Nikki Kay, and joining me, it's our Lakers insider, Mike Bresnahan. That's all thanks to the play of Anthony Davis. No coincidence, he has been an absolute monster during the Lakers' three-game win streak. We are now just three days away from Super Bowl 56 at SoFi Stadium, and I don't know about you, but I am stoked for the halftime show. Derek Williams, your fourth clean sheet and an assist to boot. Walk me through that exciting finish right there. Oh, you know what it is. It's time for a round of Count It or Doubt It. Count It or Doubt It, number two. Kendrick Nunn will bounce back and play a pivotal role in the Lakers' backcourt. In a couple years from now, we're going we're gonna to be telling our kids a story about how the West was won. That's right. And it was won by a bunch of comeback kids well. looking to restore some respect mm -hmm. to their name. Mm -hmm. Is this the uniform of the offseason? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We in the moment right now. We're enjoying yeah. ourselves. OBJ, this season you wrote your own story. What did this chapter say about you? Right? The beauty about the World Cup isn't necessarily the beautiful game. It's the ability that this tournament has in bringing us together. Whether games are on every screen in our newsroom or your office, or you're showing up to a watch party at a bar at 5 a.m. on a Tuesday. Numbers he's putting up, right? There's a tangible difference. There was a moment last night he hits a three and he turns to the crowd and you hear them embrace him. They've done a 180. Tonight you get to be the hero. What did that mean to you? Uh, it meant a lot. Uh, sorry. Uh, I, I give a lot for my career. Sasha, you set the example. You gave this crowd something to cheer about. Now it's your turn to go celebrate. It is September 1st, meaning you can officially get your pumpkin spice lattes and we can officially start counting down to Lakers training camp. The weather is still hot and so is the news around yep. the Lakers, right? For about the past week, the question on everyone's mind has been, can Russell Westbrook and Patrick Beverly coexist? You guys, this is where the magic happens. Here in between the pylons, I'm just trying to catch a wave on a stand-up paddleboard. Go, girl. Go, girl. Go. Beach. Meanwhile, Woo! the pros are behind me getting the job done. You go down a man in a hole 3 nothing early from the way this match started to the way it ended. What do you take away from it's this very one? very difficult to come here and try to speak with you without taking that play. That play changed the game. And of course, we're going to be upset. It's an accident. In terms of what this team can control, what did you see in the second half? I'm joined by some world-class athletes here at field level at the home of the Angels, which you won't recognize. You're going to stay in second gear, and we're just going to be nice and easy sitting, just rolling through these singles. I'm pretty sure she's the first girl we've ever uh, gotten to ride over some jumps. How cool is that? that? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Thank this is you. so much fun out here. Bring the kids. Awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we heard one common phrase over and over again, run it back. What's that mean for this city? It means that this was a special year. We're going to enjoy this. What are you going to do when you're not waking up and seeing each other every day? Probably going to wake up and FaceTime my man. On Wild Card Wednesday, Dodger Stadium was buzzing with electricity. A 106-win season and the quest to repeat as World Series champs all hanging in the air. So we go to the bottom of the fourth, trailing one nothing. Justin October Turner goes yard, and we've got a tie game. JT has a franchise record, 13 postseason home runs. I'm ready. Yo. I'm ready. Grover Castro never thought he would lose this jacket. Then again, he never imagined he would be performing here. That is, until he found himself on the field of Dodger Stadium, and pitcher Joe Kelly approached him with a proposition for a simple trade. You want to trade? trade? No, trade the jacket in my jersey. I brought my jersey. A jersey for his jacket. I obviously couldn't trade it in uh, at the time. At the moment, we needed it for the event and for the rest of the performance. And so I went back the next day and took him up on his offer. Awesome, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. He didn't think he'd ever see it again. That is until he opened Instagram one morning in July and saw the Dodgers in the White House and Joe Kelly in his jacket. Oh, I lost my mind. I, I, I just, I, I kind of blacked out for a second. It was, it was crazy. It was really surreal to see, like, like a little part of us in, 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 at the White House in front of the Abraham Lincoln portrait. That was, that's so surreal. For Joe, it was more than fashion. It was following up on part of the bargain. He told me to take care of it, so I'm taking it to the White House. <laughs> the mariachi jacket that made it to the White House has become legendary here at Mariachi Garibaldi de Jaime Cuellar. And band practice has become a de facto Joe Kelly and Dodger fan club.
but it's also symbolic of the connection the Dodgers franchise has forged with their Latino and Hispanic fan base. I think uh, we can, we see the support and the, the love for the Latino community with events like La Gran Fiesta, even inviting a mariachi group out to perform free game. Or... Mariachi music tells stories of Mexican joy and struggle, love and loss. It's a roller coaster of emotion, kind of what it feels like to be a diehard Dodger fan. Los Doyers is a play on how Dodgers is pronounced in Spanish. I mean, we just saw them release the City Connect jerseys that say Los, Los Doyers, you know, and so, I mean, that, that comes to show how much they care about their community and, and how much we embrace that. It's also a nod to Latino fans and the outstanding talent that has worn a Dodger uniform. From Fernando Mania to the rise and dominance of Julio Urias, who currently leads all MLB pitchers with 19 wins and has a chance to reach 20 on Saturday. Well, players like that who, uh, who put, our, put our countries in, in, in high standing and, and leave us, represent us well. It's enough to make this mariachi bleed a soul. I don't know, I, I think that there's such a connection between the Latino community and the, and the Dodger organization and Dodger team. The Los Angeles Dodgers don't wait until October to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Here, the Fiesta for Los Doyers runs all season long.